Hey babe, we have to leave in like 10 minutes for the party, okay? Check on her brush your teeth. No, I'm just gonna use the mouthwash. It's perfectly fine. Mouthwash doesn't kill all the germs and your breath is going to reek. No, uh, mouthwash has been proven to kill like 99% of bacteria. It does a great job, trust me. You should really brush your teeth. Okay, how about this? I will make a video on mouthwash versus toothpaste, and then we'll see who's right, okay? In this video, I'll be testing to see which method is most efficient at cleaning your mouth, brushing your teeth, or using mouthwash. I'll be using triptych soy agar petri dishes to grow bacteria that I've swabbed from my mouth. This particular growth media selects gram-positive bacteria to grow on it. The most common bacteria present in your oral cavity is called Streptococcus mutans, which is the gram-positive species we'll be trying to grow. In total, I'll be conducting three experiments. For each experiment, I'll eat a milk chocolate candy bar right before I go to bed. The chocolate has a ton of sugar in it and will help bacteria grow in my mouth overnight. Oh, and I won't be cleaning my teeth after eating the candy bar as I have to allow the bacteria to grow. When I wake up in the morning, I'm going to swab three different areas of my mouth to collect bacterial samples. Specifically, I'll be swabbing my front teeth, my teeth in the back of my mouth by my molars, and my gums on the left side of my mouth. On day one, for the first experiment, I'm going to swab the three areas of my mouth without performing any kind of dental cleaning. This experiment will be the control and will allow us to see how much bacteria grows when I don't clean my mouth. On day two, before I swab, I'll brush my teeth for two minutes, which, by the way, is the suggested duration of time by the American Dental Association. And finally, on day three, I'll use mouthwash for two minutes and then swab. I used a sterilized inoculation loop before each sample collection and stored the petri dishes in an incubator at 37 degrees Celsius in complete darkness for 24 hours. Here's the results. First, let's start with the control plate. The culture in the top left area of the plate is from my teeth in the front of my mouth, the top right is from my teeth in the back of my mouth, and the bottom is from my gums. One thing that's really interesting that I didn't expect to see was the amount of bacteria present in the different areas of my mouth. It appears that my teeth in the back of my mouth have more bacteria than in the front. This is evident because the culture on the right has a more blanketed covering appearance on the surface while the culture on the left has more individually isolated colonies. I attribute more bacteria being present in the back of my mouth because I, like most people, rarely brush that far back. As a result, there's more bacteria there than in the front. Let's look at the mouthwash plate. Compared to the control, there's definitely less bacteria, but with still a fair amount present. If mouthwash kills 99% of bacteria, then why is there still so much here? If you think you have the answer, then post in the comments. How about the toothbrush plate? This shows a dramatic drop in bacteria compared to the control, and especially to the mouthwash plate. I have to say though, I'm not entirely surprised that the toothbrush removed more bacteria than the mouthwash did. It's true that mouthwash is a strong antiseptic and does kill 99% of bacteria in your mouth. The active ingredients, eucalyptol, menthol, and methyl salicylate, are all very strong antibacterial agents. But the 99% of bacteria that are killed are mostly free moving, non colonized bacteria. The bacteria that remain in your mouth after using mouthwash have colonized your teeth. These bacteria form thick, hardy layers of biofilm that protect them from damage. In case you're wondering, this bacteria is plaque. Mouthwash can't remove plaque because it's firmly attached to the surface of your teeth. The only way to get rid of it is to physically scrape or brush it off, which is why brushing and flossing is so effective. Also, one additional thing that toothpaste does that mouthwash doesn't is it neutralizes acid secreted by bacteria. When bacteria breaks down sugar in your mouth, it secretes a byproduct called lactic acid. This acid is what eats away at the calcium in your teeth, causing cavities. To counteract this acid, toothpaste contains a basic substance called calcium carbonate, which neutralizes the acid. By the way, if you've ever eaten something sweet like candy or chocolate, and then a half hour later your mouth has a bitter aftertaste, it's because the bacteria in your mouth are converting the sugar into acid, causing the bitter taste. Okay, okay, you made your point. Technically, brushing your teeth is better than using mouthwash. Whatever. Well, I hope you actually oh, brush. Oh, you know what? How about 
if I use mouthwash two or maybe three times, it kills way more bacteria. Mm -hmm. This is technically a good point. What if it just takes a couple more swishes of mouthwash to detach the plaque from your teeth? Well, I tried this too. In the first experiment using mouthwash, I gargled for two minutes. For this second mouthwash experiment, I used two separate caps of mouthwash and gargled for two minutes each, reaching a total of four minutes of mouthwash. Aren't you ready? And you're the one who told me to be ready five minutes ago. Be ready in five minutes. And here you are in the bathroom taking up more time. And we're going to be late for this part. I'm doing my experiment. Here's the results. Surprisingly, there is a drop in bacteria after using mouthwash for a longer period of time. This shows that mouthwash may be somewhat effective in reducing plaque when used for long periods. One thing I noticed that I can't explain is there appears to be less bacteria from the back of my mouth than there is in the front. I'm not sure as to why this is, so if you have a theory, please post it in the comments. When comparing these results with the toothbrush experiment, it's still apparent that brushing your teeth is the better option, even if you use mouthwash for 4 minutes. I was going to try and do a 6 minute mouthwash experiment, but I started to feel a really intense burning sensation in my mouth by the 4th minute, so I skipped it entirely. In conclusion, it's fairly obvious that brushing your teeth is indeed the best way to clean your mouth. I'm sure that you could gargle mouthwash for 6 or even 8 minutes and it may have equal results to brushing your teeth. However, you can get just as good results from brushing your teeth with a fraction of the time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're wondering about the t-shirt I was wearing in the video, I'm collaborating with a very talented designer named Mikkel. All the way from Prague. He set up this cool merch shop with all kinds of different questions for science t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, and posters. You can check it out by going to the link at the bottom of the video, or click the link in the description. I'd also like to take a second to thank my very generous patrons who help support this and future videos. As always, thanks for watching and stay tuned.